And now, I summon... Uh... I, I want to go back and get BB again, but... Whatever, I'll stick with... Big Frankie! We're back! From outer space. Ah, whoa. Are these the guys that go... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, I love these little guys. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, there, there it is. <laughs> I love them when they do that. <coughs> you know what? Uh, I feel like it's back to being a different one. Dragon killer. It's nippling on your face. They're everywhere. They're coming in from all directions. Muramasa. The spear. Someday I'm gonna get that PlayStation TV system and play Muramasa the Demon Blade, the enhanced version. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why didn't they bring that out for like the 3DS or something? That, that would have been a good idea. No. <laughs> oh. What was the enhanced version brought out on? The Vita? The, the thing that nobody plays? Mm -hmm. why, why would they do that? Well, I think it was a pretty early title. Oh. They, they, were, they were... Why would they think that anyone would want that system? <laughs> Maybe they thought it would be as popular as the PlayStation Portable. Oh, it could have been if Sony didn't fucking fuck up. It's like, hey, you know what we should do, guys? We should make memory cards that are ultra expensive that people can only buy from us. Isn't that a great idea? Are those sad face shields? Yes, I can't hurt them when they have those. Oh. Which makes these guys a pain in the royal So in other words, sickles. they're tragedy shields instead of comedy shields. Uh, but they're... I'm just gonna see. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. <coughs> An eye for your death! And your death for my eyes! <laughs> bring the house down, down. The housey town. Bring it down, bring it down! And that's the end of them. Oh, the music just went crazy. What's the normal music for the infinite corridor? <laughs> and now it's gone back to this high paced battle music. <sighs> well, I hope the infinite corridor isn't so infinite. This is the last video of the day. Nah. Uh, it's. Infinitely less exciting than it sounds. Good. <laughs> Boom. Everything's dead. We just went bubble bubble on your asses. <laughs> bubble bubble. That was an infinite corridor. <laughs> It felt like it sometimes. Ugh. It's like some of those levels were nightmares. And not in Dreamland. Damn. Well, you stop it with the damn shields! I... Did Fancy Mage! Get out here! What can Fancy Mage do? can hit them with lightning, which is their weakness. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that helps. <laughs> or I could just stop time when they're asses, when they're vulnerable. Undead, Lord of the Rings. Well, that, would, that was to be expected. <laughs> I mean, Sauron, he's got the Nazgul, they're, they're kind of undead. 
kind of. Yeah, and Sauron himself is kind of undead. Homing! Yeah, that's true. He needs a giant eye now. Like an undead eye. Undead eye, eye, eye! Homing fires, well, homing shots of energy at enemies. Oh, yeah! Oh, man. Yeah, this is definitely... Definitely, well, not only because timeline, but because getting up at five in the morning is starting to wear on you. Have its effect on me. It usually does at some point in the day. I get up at five in the morning. It doesn't seem to do shit to me. <sighs> you're weird because save room. When you get when you get up, you're just up. <laughs> well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Isn't everybody? No, that's pretty rare, I think. I think most people would just... I'm going back to bed now! <laughs> well, there there, there are times, sometimes, actually, when I get up and I want to go back to bed. <laughs> but it's usually if I haven't slept very well, or if I've had, like, very interrupted sleep. Like, if I slept for, like, only a few hours, then got up to do something. But some... But even some... It, it depends on the quality of sleep I get, really. I still don't get why uh, everyone's all about, like, the deep sleep, the REM sleep. Mm -hmm. Like, I have never felt completely like just, oh, dude, I got such a good night's sleep after I get that type of sleep. I usually feel more tired when I wake up from that, and I don't think it's because I didn't even complete the cycle. It's because, like... I think it's because you're not completing the cycle. You no, know, like, I've been sleeping for, like, ever. For, like, hours and hours and hours. And you know it's possible to get too much sleep? <laughs> it actually is possible to get too much sleep. By the way, this is weird, because, like, if I go here, I'll be going up. But if I go there, I'll be going down. But either way, they'll still meet in the middle. Hmm. No, wait, this one's going up. The other one goes down. And yet, I... S Thank you. You dream when you're in REM sleep, right? Yes. Yeah, I always feel more tired after a dream. Here's the question, though. Um, does the dream feel like it slowly fades and then you wake up, or is it like the dream just comes to an abrupt end when you wake up? Hmm. That's a good question. You're more likely to remember a dream if it slowly fades as you regain consciousness. Hmm, well, I have remembered dreams, so... I, I have weird <laughs> dreams. <laughs> I thought you were in control of your dreams, you could just fly. <laughs> I'm always flying in my- well, not always, but like 99.9% .9 of my dreams, I'm usually flying. Sometimes I can't stop flying. It's like, the lowest I can go is hovering inches above the ground. Speaking of flying, um, when- it, <laughs> Playing Rodea, like, we failed to record. A casual Friday for Rodea because I look through like I don't know eight, a bajillion batteries. A bajillion batteries and they were all dead or close to dying. So we couldn't record Rodea multiplayer. Next week we'll do that. Like either I'll have new rechargeable batteries or you can bring you up. I, I can't remember how to steal all these guys because they have a They look like Voldo wannabes. Yeah, they're they're more blaze type things, but these guys have a material I need. I can only get from stealing from them, and I can't remember how you steal off these dudes. Um, oh yeah, Rodea. Uh, but yeah, just playing it for a few seconds, I realized, dang, this stuff looks really different. <laughs> like uh, the the collectibles, the the things that you collect that'll. Um, they'll do multiple things, actually. They can get you extra lives. In the Wii U version, they refill your flight gauge. But, um, yeah, they look greatly different in between the two versions. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, these two games are very, very different. Well, that was the point. Yeah, 
I, I'm looking forward to trying the Wii version again. I just, I'm getting through the Wii U version now because... I had trouble playing the Wii U version, personally. I just, Amy, like, I didn't even get past the tutorial yet. <laughs> and, and I'm just like, ugh, ugh. This is just, this is how I feel, personally. Mm. But, um, what I, what I will say, uh, what I will say is it, it is interesting that they have they actually have a Wiimote nunchuck control scheme with no pointer input. Stop doing that, games, on the <laughs> Wii U. Yeah. I mean, I mean, hell, like, what the heck was up with freaking Epic Mickey 2 where it's like, oh yeah, we got Wiimote nunchuck support now, for the second player only. That, that raises a good question. What games of the Wii U do use pointer controls? Oh, um, I think there's a few Call of Duty games on the Wii U that actually have, uh, pointers, you Does, know, bunch of any pointers. Of the, the, the any, no, none of the Nintendo Land games use the Wii Pointer. Yes, they do. Oh. The Metroid one Yeah, does. that's, uh, actually, I was thinking that maybe the Metroid one did. Yeah, it uses the pointer. Um. Way back at the beginning of the console. <laughs> And, um, and, uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, you know, Pikmin 3 has pointer support, so it's possible, guys! Hey, uh, Splatoon, how about a Wiimote Nunchuck set up with, uh, with pointer aiming? You know, just, just saying? Yeah, there's no way to, like... There, there's no excuse for not there, having There's that. no way to, um... The sad thing is there's no way to play with two people on the same console online because of the way the touchscreen works. There's no You couldn't do it with two people unless they made it work with two Wii U gamepads. And in that case, why not just bring the whole dang system over? It's what I do! <laughs> this is a very generic other dimension, you know? Mm -hmm. Very rocks and platforms hanging in space. Mm -hmm. Why is it e why is it every time we always do a different dimension where like weird shit comes from? It's rocks and platforms hanging in forgotten space. memory. They're horse people. They're like unicorn people. What no, is... the the forgotten memory was the item. Oh, but what what is this guy? A unicorn. Unicorn. <laughs> Duh. Unicorns with spell books and. Well, how many Whoa. unicorns have you seen, Mister? Yeah. <laughs> We've got more hair than we know what to do with, and we keep it all to ourselves. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I would pay someone to animate that battle that took place. <laughs> that would be pretty interesting. Giant floating ectoplasm. Yep. That's what they are. <laughs> excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Coming through, bye. This is making me think of the last dungeon in Roddy out of stories. And it's weirdness. That was a more interesting other dimension because it wasn't just a whole bunch of things hanging in midair. Yeah. Although it was still kind of generic because it was the whole stairs go every which freaking where thing. Yeah. It's like, come up with something new! Man, that final boss. Final bosses, man. I, that, that's the funny thing about games. Sometimes final bosses are easier than earlier bosses. But yeah. sometimes they can be really, really hard. Oh, yeah. It's just all a matter of dark matter. <laughs> or it's just a matter of that bitch from Radiata Stories. Well, she wasn't a final boss. She was... 15 minutes in. Oh. Chair! By the way, this chair is a special chair. 
What? Oh, I need my fairy. Fairy. Oh, I should have registered that last save point I was at as a memorial ticket location. I forgot to do that, damn it. Anyways. Ether! Can you get back to a save point? Or is there a save point? Ceremonial tool. Uh, I'll just back to track to a save point off screen. Okay, well, we'll just finish opening these chests and then call it a day. <clears throat> Forgotten memory. What did you say, Mark? I forgot. <laughs> Holy man's vein. Not Lord Zed's vein. Dark Crystal. Ooh, Dark Crystal. Ah, uh, you got a DVD of the Dark Crystal made by Jim Henson. Ah, uh, that's... That's not... a weird movie. That's not what I want. Oh. I've watched that movie several times, actually. It's a weird movie, but it's kind of... It's entertaining. <laughs> and the puppetry is amazing to look at. Robot Chicken has done more than one sketch on that movie. <laughs> Uh, I need I need something else that I'm missing. Hmm. Spirit of Fuji. And Carbon Steel. Okay, I guess that's everything. Alright. Okay, guys, um Mike's gonna backtrack to a save point. And we're, we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah. Bye.